Oh my god. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Long, and today we're going to be watching episode 6 of The Midnight Gospels. Um, last week was a really, really weird episode about rebirth and accepting death, and uh, I believe that's accepting death. More like, you know, like, just being okay with everything and just letting things go and just throughout all this pain and all this suffering you just gotta understand to be compassion and just empathetic and sympathy and just learn from your mistake learn from your mistakes I guess so yeah uh, not quite sure what this week is gonna entitle to so uh, let's just go ahead and hop right in excuse me kind of whispering because my daughter's just sleeping right next to me have you guys ever done that snail race i've never done it personally but i was just watching Hello. turbo with ron reynolds Sarah, and it's literally snail racing the fake voicemail thing doesn't work anymore but that's okay you don't have to answer i just want you to know i love you you, you don't need to pay me back no matter where you go, things are always going to be the same if you don't change. A full message not received. Jesus. He's running away from over here. That's what it sounds like. Good morning, Clancy. Which have popped from loneliness. What the hell? Wait, there appears to be one left. I'm sorry to say. Wait, wait, wait. Send me and I can cheer him up. Target Bubble Man. No! Oh, my goodness. Already. What the fuck, simulator? <laughs> you need to fix your operator errors. F A. Fuck Q. He's so freaking lazy. It levitates. That's what makes it best. Ha. Huh. 3D Princess Pie yes. Messiah. If only you can 3D print food in the future, that'd be great. First thing you'd make with a 3D printer that you can eat. Probably do a pizza. Or a hot dog. Holy shit. That's pretty neat. What is that? What are those? Light bulb cows. Time to harvest. She's looking like oh. It's a flying sombrero. Oh, what the hell? I brought you a pie messiah. Your Poop interruption Messiah. cost me your own eyes. Damn it, she's melting down. Rub some green oil onto her right now, boy. I said now. <laughs> Everyone knows you need to massage lantern head oil into the simulator every day, twice a day, or the worlds within will not produce artifacts. He's not rubbing it with green oil. Oh, look at that. Making you a pie, Messiah. You're gonna cute. Hello, I master. While you were gone, I baked something for you. You did? The I Messiah. Things are coming out. I want to watch you eat it, Master. E eat it. Eat me. Uh, simulator repair. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> what the heck? Simulator repair? This is Captain Bryce. <laughs> hey, Bryce. My name's Clancy, and I think my simulator's... It's pouring out purple smoke? <laughs> oh, shit. God damn. Oh, yeah. Heal him up. Heal him up, bro. Captain Bryce, you dead? Hell yeah. Whoa, yeah! <laughs> when was the last time you rubbed green oil on it? And where's your lantern head? Captain Bryce is gonna take good care of you. Thanks, Captain <laughs> Bryce. <laughs> and I won't tell anybody I love his mustache. about the highly illegal contraband sim life that you've been harvesting.
<laughs> Come on, my boy, let's look. The only thing that'll stop your simulator from apocalypticizing is the green oil from that beast over there. My name is Captain Bryce, <laughs> and these are my rules. If it's pink, or you will age until you stink. If the wobble's gray like steam, you'll revert into a cream. Whoa. If a patch is colored tan, then your eyes will melt. Well, if it's blue, because your legs will look like that. <laughs> if the Captain Bryce, what about this this guy? He seems fine. Patch of purple wobble. <laughs> That's the kind that locks you in time. His heart's still ticking, but his mind is pickled. Mm. I, I'm, I'm gonna poke him out of there. Rewinding this mush brain back is the only humane thing left to do. What is the kind of wobble do that's pee pee yellow and creeping up behind you? That whoops, that's under my rules. Oh my god. Clinchy! What? You must go save Sparkle. Oh my goodness. Bryce just died. Just like that. What a horrible way to go. And it's not like you died right away either. You're just stuck there with all your muscles and meat and skin just levitating inches off of your bone. Oh my god. Oh shit. All you need is one. <laughs> When? I showed you a week ago. That's a week ago. I showed you the day before that. Okay, twice. Master, it's become clear to me I don't that you've you been avoiding tell dealing with the real world I by going into how to my fucking live my goddamn life. Mm -hmm. May I suggest? Friend David. You could be an octopus, Sheriff. How about this? You boy, <laughs> 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 Master. You failed asshole! Have fun. Shut up! Oh, my God. Done? Yeah, I'm done. Here are three principles we could at least check out. First one, silence. Hmm. Giving you room to listen. Second one, stillness. Giving you room to feel. Third one, spaciousness. Just giving you room. This sucks. This is literally the worst experience of my entire life. Man, bees are amazing. My sister's allergic to bees. I was pretty cool, and I miss her. Sarah's cool. Uh -huh. Too bad I ruined that relationship. <laughs> Holy shit. <Whoa>. Monkey? Let <laughs> me try the meditation stuff. He's just trying to hide from everything. Wanting to get away from all of his problems and all of his troubles. <laughs> Do you think you could help me untangle myself? Yeah. <laughs> Oma, I just accepted where I was instead of wishing I was somewhere else. Everything just got better. That's the joy. Yes. You see, Duncan. Clancy. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you're caught up in your story, it's like living in a tiny apartment with just enough room for you. The moment you get a little space between yourself and your thoughts, it's like moving into a much bigger house. Then there's room to invite people in. There's space for you, and there's space for them. That's spaciousness. You could be living in a massive house, but you're still a hoarder of time. Basically, we're talking about psychological space. Your mind is overcrowded. That's it. Wow. Yeah. So it, then you go, well, what if I just emptied my mind? Right. Just empty your How mind. How do you do well, that? Go ahead and try. Can it even be done? Yes, you could learn how to do that, but it's, it isn't the goal. Just to be clear, you're sort of, you're saying don't, it's not like you're supposed to shove some kind of butt plug in the <laughs> asshole of your mind. <laughs> Accepting there's this infinite swarm of thoughts and that by understanding that you're not necessarily as connected to them as you thought, it allows... Which is what this is talking about. That, right. Yeah, you, you don't have to kind of grasp and dwell on that as the only solution for continuing to be alive. Wow. Yes. So I just have one question for you. Sure. On the way out the door. How can you tell that you're feeling that you are enlightened and that you're going to go save all the other beings? You can never really um, tell. Okay. Cut to commercial. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna walk oh, out of the wow. studio right now. <laughs>
That was Before interesting. You go, here, take this with you. Whoa. <laughs> tiny, tiny shoes. This is the least amount of time to spend in the simulator. I'm back! Did you see the monkey with the cape? Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, computer. Hey, call me Clancy, the enlightened one. Oh, damn. <laughs> hey, uh, Clancy? Bryce. Oh, I'm sorry, Captain Bryce. I completely forgot you were still over there. His ass off Sometimes over there. the mind flies get the best of us. It happens. It was not too much trouble. Could I bother you for a little something to eat? Oh, yeah, sure thing. Um. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you, good man. You're welcome. He's found peace, kind of. Oh, that was a quick episode. That was a very stressful yet calming episode. He's just, you know, overstressed and he's just trying to run away from everything around the world. Um, his, his family, his sister, um, doing whatever it takes to avoid the situation and avoid confrontation and um you know what sometimes you just kind of have to face it head on look at me talking big <laughs> i would run from everything if i could anyways um yeah it's a really really interesting episode as well i do like this one more than the last one the last one was really cool but this one is more i understand this one a little more than the other one um yeah yeah it's good. It's good. Meditation. I really should uh, take that up. Just emptying the mind. Just being mindful. Spatial awareness. Just being okay with where I'm at right now. It's nice. I can fall asleep to it. Alrighty, everybody. That's it for this episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. I don't know why I did that for. Anyways, uh, yeah. So you'll be notified about the next video that's coming out. Um, quick update. We are moving. So um, if you guys don't see anything for a while, just so you guys are aware that we are currently moving. Um, we're packing things up. We'll get things out. And uh, once we settle down, videos will come back up again. Um, so expect the next week or so things might slow down a little bit just want to let you guys know ahead of time so yeah thank you guys again for watching and enjoying this ride with me we are two episodes left before this show is done um, do you guys want to poll for those who watch I guess <laughs> for those who finish it all the way through do you guys want to poll do you guys care or should I just pick another show and watch I guess I'll discuss this with Kathy later on the on the next video. We can talk about it. Alrighty. See you guys. Bye bye.